Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new fashion video. One of your favourite brands you will tell me we're doing another Zara haul today. I did place a big order over on Zara. It's always a good day when the postman brings this to my door so I was quite excited when he rocked up this morning and brought me all the new in Zara goodies. So if you are new around here, then thank you so much for clicking onto this video. We are gonna see what's new in Zara today. I did a huge order on their app one night. I spent a stupid amount of money, but obviously because I make these videos, I get very excessive and order a lot of different things so I can show you guys on. One of the most important things that you would have seen in the title as well is I am a UK size 12. So I feel this is a really important video for people to watch because Zara is very, very, very ridiculous with its sizing. Um, and I know that a size 12 is sort of your average UK size, a 12 to 14, and I fit that profile. So if you're thinking of ordering some new stuff from Zara, um, or you want some inspiration of stuff to order from Zara, and you want to know if it will fit on your body type, maybe you're around a size 12 as well, then this is the perfect video for you. The first item I picked up is this beautiful black satin dress. So this is called the Short Satin Dress in Black. It was $32.99 and I got this in a size XL. Now the reason I did is if you have been sticking around since my last Sara haul, I used to pick up loads of things in a size L thinking that that would be about right. But because Zara uses so many materials that have absolutely no give, I always, and their designs tend to always have that slight overlooked, slouchy look to them. It's just not a good combination. Strong material, slouchy look, you always wanna go a size up. So I ordered most of the stuff today in a size XL, but I'll obviously confirm when I pick them up. This is what the dress looks like, just briefly showing you, but it'll be a lot better to show you here on the trial clip. Here is the black satin dress. Now, I really wanted to love this so incredibly much, but unfortunately, it's just the strangest fit. As you can see, it's way too long on my arms, and then it's also like tight round, well it's not tight, but it's just more fitted round here, and then extremely big round here, which it's not meant to be this loose, like obviously this part has got lots and lots of room. So unfortunately, this is just a very strange fit. I definitely couldn't have got away with a large. I can tell you that for now, because I feel like round the hips, it just wouldn't have fit properly. But the extra large is just not working at all. I then went ahead and picked up the same dress, but in the white color. Now this was the one that was originally on my wish list. I just love the look of white satin. I think it's so sophisticated, clean and beautiful. So again, this is just the same short satin dress, but it's in white. And again, I got it in an XL. I am so glad I got both of these items in an XL. Then here is the white one. Weirdly enough, I like this one way more than the black. I don't know if it's because that roominess is way more appreciated in the white, if you know what I mean, but I think that this looks a lot better. Obviously white, you never want it to be super grabby. I definitely don't think it's, you know, making me look the smallest I've ever looked. I still feel very kind of voluptuous and big, um, but nevertheless, I do really like it. Again, as you can see, the arms though, are a little bit too long. But yes, I like this one a lot more than the black, personally. I think it's very, very nice. The next item I picked up, I really didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did when I tried it on. It is this absolutely beautiful little summer dress. So it kind of goes all the way down to your ankle, but it has got a slit up the side. And what I really liked about it was this scalloped sort of neckline and edging here. It's also got the tie at the back with this really pretty like spaghetti lace. Um, really really thin string which looks always I think really delicate and beautiful so this is called the midi dress with cut work embroidery got it in the color white and this was actually $49.99 so it was a little bit more expensive but I really really liked this on the try clip and I thought it was actually really flattering for white this is really cute I didn't expect to like this as much as I do so it's a very very pretty delicate um, material so as you can see it's like got the little flowers on it it's got the little texture to it as well I like the idea of this top half as well like this bits sort of scalloped you definitely also feel very secure in it or I do at least because you can see the straps there you can actually adjust them to how tight you want it to be and then it sort of holds in 
this bit. Obviously, as you can see, it is not like super tight, but again, I think I need to tighten up this strap. It's all kind of to do with the back bit. Obviously, I'm on my own, so bear with me. But yeah, I really like the split. I think it's really nice length. It's definitely the definition of summer. I think they only did this in white as well, but definitely I feel white is the right color. So this was in the brand new section and the Lady Gaga in me was just like, I have to order this. I have to see if this looks really nice. It's gonna be so awkward to show you right now. How silly does this look? <laughs> You'll definitely be able to see this better on the model here and on the try-on clip, but this is the dress with tie detail, and I got it in black, again, in an XL. This was $45.99, so it is very, quite pricey, um, but it's very well made. It's double lined, it's got amazing seams in it, which I'll show you in a second on the try-on. You've got, obviously, this big statement bow, and then this is actually wired, so it's, um, you know it's it's all wired up so it's going to stay in place and then around the back there is eyelet hooks as well so this is the bow dress that I was very skeptical about. I did sort of just chuck this in my cart because I was like I'm very curious about this. This is giving me full on Lady Gaga like Golden Globe vibes. This is such a big bow. I feel like on camera it's not even coming up but this is such a big bow. I didn't even realize that it was like a cutout. Excuse these tags usually when I keep stuff I cut them off they do my head in it's a zip up on the side here and then this section is almost like a bra like the closure at the back is the eyelet hooks but this is actually so pretty it fits me like an absolute glove I love the seaming there's very very slight seaming that goes like this on each side obviously as you can see it's super super flattering as well it really makes my hourglass shape pop in a good way it's nice to have the back to open but yeah, I really like this. I think it's very, very classy. It's definitely a statement piece, that is for sure. I have wanted to order this dress for so, so long, but I was waiting till I did the order. I was also secretly hoping that they would do more designs in it, but it seems like they haven't done them just yet, but hopefully they do, because clearly the first designs were a success. If you watched the last Zara haul, then you will definitely recognize this style of dress, or if you follow me over on Instagram as well, I did a post with this dress on while I was over in Bodrum. It was, is this, this design of dress, if I could have this in every shade and every color, Color that I could possibly want I would spend a fortune basically to get them because it is so well made this is the Zara printed mini dress in the color green and this is $32.99 I got the last one in an XL and I did that by accident because I actually wanted to order an L in the last one but it was a really happy accident because the XL just fits perfectly it's so flowy it's so open but to the point where it's still really flattering i'll just give you a quick overview before i show you the try on clip but it is so beautiful and this is the material up close so it's a really pretty like sage green with the beige um pattern on it I knew I would love this so, so much because I love the design of the other green one that I bought. This is the rope belt dress. I just absolutely love the way they've designed this dress. It just is so flattering and so beautiful. I've seen this dress on quite a few different people because they do them in different patterns. And I always think every single person who I've seen, which are all different body shapes, it just looks stunning. The rope belt is honestly what makes this dress but actually the best bit about it is how they have cut this material down here because it makes it sort of like flow out and then obviously with it with the tie waist it sort of bags here so it really just shapes you like no matter what shape you are it absolutely shapes you as you can tell i'm very passionate about this dress i love the neckline i love the fact you can have it as low cut open as you want or you can literally have it done up if that's your style but it completely changes the dress i love the collar i love the cuffed sleeves there really is not one bad thing i can say about this moving on to another couple of items that i got both in black and white the first one I'll show you is the black one here. This is a romper actually from Zara. I thought this would be such a nice little capsule piece if it looked good. So this is the cut out play suit dress in black. This was $29.99. And as you can see, yeah, the lights caught it pretty good there. You've got a open split there. You've got a little tie up side on the waist. And then you've got this like flap that comes over the romper. So it kind of gives it a skort style look. It's super flattering because obviously it's not form hugged to your stomach. So you get that kind of 
bit of material that sort of just hides all everything. It also has adjustable straps which is really good and it is a little zip up on the side. Again though unfortunately this material is like a linen blend. It has no give whatsoever so I'm very glad I went for an XL in this. Okay this is a great Zara basic piece. So this is the dress romper thing. Very nice design. Again I'm glad I got this in an XL because it has no give whatsoever in this fabric. I do like the tie-up design over here and I thought I'd like the slit but honestly guys I am gonna have to return this simply because I'm gonna have a nip slip any minute. You definitely wouldn't be able to wear a bra with this just because it's, it's such a small bit of material here but my boob is literally like about to fall out underneath here. Um, thankfully due to a bit of tightness from the straps I'm able to keep it in for the try on clips but I am definitely not relying on that at any other time. I think it is a super flattering design as well because of the um, flap over here but it is actually shorts underneath so it's a very nice design it's just a shame about this top bit here but maybe it's made for you know a bit more smaller chested girls you'll be absolutely fine to be fair I'm not very big chested myself but if you're smaller than me then you'll be fine <laughs> and quickly like I said just now I did pick it up in the white or this is more of a cream I would say it's definitely an off-white uh, but yeah this is also the same price 29.99 got it in an XL the cut out play suit dress I actually think I prefer this to the black one not too sure why also I feel like this split is definitely not doing what the other one did like I feel a hell of a lot more secure in this one it's strange I'm liking all the the black the white stuff over the black which I usually like the white stuff over the black but flattering wise the black always tends to look nicer but I feel like the the white the white is working this time so the design is exactly the same obviously you've got this piece of material here that goes over and ties nicely on the waist and then you have got the romper detail it does zip up at the side the zip is perfectly good adjustable straps you've got the little slit here I much prefer this one like I said I feel like it's maybe made slightly differently because it's it literally is just a little peak there Whereas the other one I thought was just like way too big. But yeah, I really like this one. So down to the last couple of items. So browsing the Zara app late at night and the new in section. You know, you're already kind of halfway to dreamland. You're in bed, I'm chilling, I'm relaxed, I'm dreaming about all these different outfits. So, you know, I'm kind of already putting myself in the best position thinking, scrolling through going, yeah, that will look amazing. Yeah, I could rock that. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to wear that. So that's when things like this end up in my cart. So this is a bodysuit from Zara. This is the same range as obviously the dress I showed you where they're doing these big oversized bows but this is the bodysuit so I picked this up in a large uh, this was $29.99 and it is called the bodysuit with bow and it has got the adjustable straps and I just really liked the sort of elegance and very black tie of the look of it being white and black but obviously with the big bow it looked very very you know classy and I thought that this would look beautiful with either a pair of jeans or dressed up with a pair of tailored shorts so that leads me on nicely to the next item that I picked up and the final item that I picked up on this Zara haul which are these tailored well, it's a tailored skort. What are they actually calling it? This is the asymmetric waist shorts in black. So these were $25.99, but these are definitely a Zara capsule piece. I think that these will literally go with anything. They are super weighty. Again, they have no stretch whatsoever. The back has got a couple of nice little pockets, which are not real. They're just there for display. And it just zips up on the side. Again, I picked this up in an XL. They are perfect in an XL. I would definitely say if you're a size 12 but you are a more hourglass girl definitely go XLs just just go XLs as you can see though from the satin dresses though it is a bit hit and miss sometimes but I would always upsize in Zara never ever downsize or if you think that you might be that size I'd still play it safe and go a size up so I definitely recommend a size XL for my size 12 curvier girls or my size 14 girls for sure so the bodysuit is very, very cute. I do like the bow detailing again, just like the dress. However, it is extra, it feels petite. I don't know if I missed it on the listing, but it feels so petite. Like, I don't think that I'm that tall 
but everything feels like it's very short bodied. It just about fits though in this size, so that's fine. And then this is the skort here. Um, very nicely tailored. As you can see, I always get this issue. You can kind of see it there a bit where the back is just gaping over here, but actually the fit of the front is perfect. It's just something you get as a bigger hipped girl. Unfortunately, smaller waist and bigger hips, the pear shape, it's always gonna be that way. They fit really, really nice. Again, the skort detailing, this sort of flap, is really flattering because it takes away any sort of bump here and obviously along with a bodysuit that kind of really flattens over as well so that's why I think that this is really flattering it's just a shame I wish that this was a little bit higher because obviously it's it's far too petite but other than that this is a very cute little outfit it does kind of look like a one piece it looks like a dress to be honest if you looked really quickly but yeah I think the shorts are definitely a capsule wardrobe piece from Zara they are one of those things that will go with literally anything so guys, that is everything that I picked up in Zara on this time round. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. I hope it was helpful to any of you who are a similar size to me and just really don't know what to order or any of you Zara fans out there that just wanted to see these on a real human. If you want to see more quick interactive Zara content, definitely head over to my Instagram. I'm getting on reels. I'm finally doing reels. I know it's supposed to be done. I just have never been a real person but I am absolutely loving it at the moment so if you want to see quick fire hauls if you want to see new in stores come shop with me it's all in a flash in a click when you're in the middle of your day and you're just sort of sitting there on your lunch break or something then definitely head on over to my Instagram and then my home account as well if you want to see any new in home stuff it's going to be Amy Michelle home so guys I will leave you to it thank you so much for watching today's video I appreciate you all so much thank you so much for your time today I'd love spending it with you and I will see you in my next video Ciao.